I want to announce that I finally reached ace. One day after my son did, but still, I'm happy I finally got here. Let me share some facts and add some context so you understand how I got here. First of all, I play mainly solo or solo with randoms. Sometimes I play with my son, but he hasn't been playing for a while, so that's like occasionally happening but mainly solo so if you're a solo player or don't have friends to play with you can still achieve master or ace or eventually even legend my default loadout is t4 and in most of the games i was actually wearing t4 while i was grinding from master up to ace so i pick up a t4 helmet a t4 armor i play with the simple rig simple chest rig or simple rig i play with the t4 ammunition having a 50 round ammo in my primary weapon i play with one weapon by the way and then i have a secondary magazine usually one with 30 rounds that's 80 bullets and on top i add 60 up to 90 ammunition into my composite case usually that's t3 so it puts me up to like approximately 150 bullets per game in terms of grenades, I'm usually playing with four of them, three which can blast the enemy or, you know, do some damage explosion. And the fourth is usually a smoke, a gas grenade or decoy eventually. In terms of medical equipment, I usually take one standard kit, the one which allows you to fix broken limbs with four charges. Then I have some med kits, two or eventually three of them, depending on the size and then at least one painkiller, the bigger one, which has six charges or six pills inside. And I have always something to drink with me. On the other hand, I never pick any food. Maybe it's just because it's so awkward to eat while you're fighting as a soldier. Anyways, no food for me and it, it works. I have not played with any fancy items. So I never played with a thermal, thermal scope or the thermal imager, which you can put in your helmet. Uh, I never use T6 helmets and rarely use T6 armor. Sometimes I do T5, T5 armor and T5 helmet, but generally speaking, I stick to T4. In terms of weapons, I play with three different loadouts. It's not a surprise that the primary one is assault rifles. And even within the assault rifles, I usually go with an M4 or full FAL. Um, I also play other guns, but these are the primary ones. The second loadout is my, let's say, sniper loadout, but since I'm not a sniper type of guy, it's usually just a Mosin with an extra scope, or eventually an M110, which is like a semi-sniper weapon, but I realize that I have better chances surviving if I'm not playing a sniper. Sometimes I also play SMGs, which is the third loadout and I do that when I feel that I'm gonna just go in and rush the enemies from a close distance and in that case I play MPX or MP5. If I play with MPX I always have a scope, a 4x scope, MP5 1x scope and I never use dum-dums so I use the AP, I don't know what that is, the 919 and usually the T3 version so the purple one sometimes with mpx i pick up the yellow ones the t4 ones my whole account is like 80 percent free to play by that i mean i don't purchase tokens to convert them into coins sometimes i get tokens from the arena breakout team which i actually spent on my red knife and other accessories so i'm happy about that and it really happened that i exchanged tokens to coins i think it's less than 2000 coins i'm just trying to say that i'm not spending tons of money on the game on a monthly basis my extraction rate i think is pretty bad because it's below 30 percent i would say the average is somewhere between 30 and 40 percent i'm not sure but i feel like the higher i am the tougher opponents or enemies I get, the more times I die. So I'm, I'm not even sure if it's below average, depending on your tier, because if I would restart the game, obviously my extraction rate would be higher. But I think in this tier, which is close to my skill cap, the approximate 30% extraction rate is like perfectly fine. During my grind from master to ace, I completely changed the way I play because previously in the past, I was entering the battlefield and then starting to search for stuff, looting, having a look around and focusing somewhat on the saves. And nowadays what I do is I spawn and then I instantly try to monitor the area 
try to understand if I have any enemies around, checking the surrounding spawn points and such, which basically completely changed the way I play. So for me, priority is now understanding the position of the other enemies and trying to get some early kills. And also deeper into the game, I focus more on the voices, on the footsteps and the sounds. So out of the three, looting, fighting and extracting, I had fighting on top. I should have had extracting on top, but since I wanted to grind the rank points, I had the fights on top, secondary was the extraction, and then the third one was looting. So obviously if I had something around, I picked it up, but I was more focusing on getting kills. Interesting fun fact is that I'm trying to be a fair player. I never needed any of my teammates ever since the game got released, and fortunately nobody needed me on purpose. They didn't have to because I didn't steal their loot or such. In terms of settings, there's one thing I changed in Season 2. So if you go into the sensitivity settings, there is a so-called swipe acceleration mode, which is by default on fixed speed, and I changed that to distance speed. For me, it just works better. The second thing that relates to settings in general is that I tried playing with ADS on and off. So basically, automatically zooming while you are peeking and I had it off for a while and then I switched it back on. Honestly speaking, I cannot decide which is better. Both of them have pros and cons. If you have ADS on, you can quicker like aim while you are peeking. On the other hand, there are situations where you don't want to zoom while you are peeking. So I couldn't decide yet. I would be happy to hear what you are using, ADS on or off. Another interesting fun fact is that I started the game with an iPad and then I switched to my Red Magic phone, which really sucked because I really suffered like getting used to the size of the phone. By now, I would say I'm pretty much okay, but deeply inside, I still miss the bigger screen size. And if there would be a device, which is same as the Red Magic with 120 FPS and a widescreen, I would definitely consider switching back to tablet or iPad because sometimes I feel like that the screen is just too tiny and it's very hard to spot the enemies. Since the start of season two, so basically end of October until now, I gained more than 100 subscribers. I'm very thankful for that. Thank you guys for all the support. It's much appreciated. And obviously if the growth would suddenly stop, I wouldn't continue this forever. But until I have viewers, people like you who appreciate the work I'm doing, I'm definitely going to continue. If you guys have any additional questions regarding the loadout, arena breakout, what I did, how I did that, keep them coming. I want to see them. Also, if you have any questions regarding the channel, I'm happy to answer them. And as a closing thought, I want you to stay positive. It's a very frustrating game. Sometimes it kicks you in the ass, but stay positive. You can do it. You can do it. You can actually reach ace even if you're a casual player. So if you believe in yourself, you can do it. Just stay focused. Don't get mad and upset. Put the phone aside if you're frustrated. And then the next day you can restart and then again see success. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Have a nice day. Shady out. Bye.